Hello students topic for today's lecture is substantial evidence rules and the administrative procedure the scope of judicial review of administrative determinations has been a pivotal one in the american administrative law since review is generally available over administrative determinations the extent of the review in the particular cases may determine whether or not full effect is given to the legislative purpose in creating any administrative agencies one of the principal reasons for the certain and the creation of such agencies is to secure the benefit of the special knowledge acquired through continuous experience in a difficult and complicated field if the review of administrative determinations is to be very very broad with the reviewing court deciding the case they know upon its own judgment independently administrative tribunals would be turned into little more than media for the transmission of the evidence to the courts it would further destroy the value of the adjudication of fact by the expert or the specialist in the fields involved it would divide the responsibility for the administrative adjudications the role of courts in this field is to serve as a check on the administrative branch of a government that is a check against the excess of power and abuse of exercise of power in the derogation of the private right the judicial function is thus one of control we may expect judicial review to check not to supplant administrative action broadly speaking adequate judicial controls is assured where review can be had on the following grounds number 1 ultra wires to ensure uh, that the administrative determination was within the authority delegated to the agency number 2 natural justice that at least minimum standard of fairness for the process of administrative education adjudication what the supreme court has called the fundamentals of fair play for observe number 3 substantial evidence that is the administrative determination has a basis in the evidence of a rational probative force the scope of judicial review has largely been governed by the development of the so called substantial evidence rule namely the scope of judicial review over administrative action is limited to the questions of law and to whether or not the findings of the fact underlying the administrative conclusion are based upon the substantial evidence that rule has been mainly of the judicial handiwork although it has also been included in many statutory review provisions it evolved naturally as an appreciation arose on the undesirability of trying cases de novo in the courts of the value of having the tribunal informed by experience assuming a real responsibility for weighing and considering the facts in the fields where it had a particular and a peculiar competence review upon questions of fact limited by the substantial evidence rule is a vital element in the judicial control of administrative process as expressed by a lower federal court rule of the substantial evidence is of the fundamental importance and marks the dividing line between the law and the arbitrary proper the requirement of an edwin evidentiary basis for factual deductions is essential if administrative actions is to be confined within the legal limits that is the power of the administrative bodies to make findings of fact which may be treated as conclusive prior to the administrative procedure act of 1946 or 1948 it seems clear that the broader view such as that advocated by the special committee was not available in the federal courts the law of the judicial review has developed in the federal courts prior to the apa was held it was based upon the distinction between the law and the fact and rested upon a division of labor between a judge and the administrator which sought to give full each play to the particular competence of each question of law were to be decided judicially for the judge was best equipped to deal with them questions of fact on the other hand were primarily for the administrator and as to them the judicial function was exhausted when the administrative finding was found to be grounded in the substantial evidence section 10a of the apa would at last uh, at first to follow the 
थ्योरी ऑफ रिव्यू आई थिंक द टॉपिक मस्ट बी क्लियर टू यू थैंक यू